farm is a business, we gotta treat it as such, and seed cost is something that really never goes away. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and we're coming to you from rural Winterset, Iowa. I'm visiting with Michaela Connolly. She serves as a research agronomist for the Iowa Soybean Association covering kind of southern, south central Iowa. So, Michaela, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm originally from Winterset, served southern Iowa, earned my bachelor's and master's in agronomy. Started here last year and have just met farmers in my area since then and excited to meet more. So we just came from a discussion with uh, some soybean farmers in which you described and shared with them a trial that Iowa Soybean Association has led on seeding rates, population rates for soybean. And of course, we're getting very close to when farmers are going to be heading to the field. So first of all, just describe the study. Yeah, so we've got four treatments, 80,000 seeds per acre, 110,000 seeds per acre, 140,000 seeds per acre, and 170,000 seeds per acre. So those are our four treatments. The only other thing a farmer would need to do is just have uniform management across the field. So if they're going to foliar feed with any fertilizers or anything like that, we just ask that they do it across the field uniformly. I, as an RA, help implement those studies so I can help the farmer flag if needed or write them a prescription if needed if their equipment takes those, but help implement and then we do in-season stain counts as well and then just collect a harvest file at the end of the year and then our analytics team trims up the data and kicks out a report and we send it to the growers. How many years have we been doing this, the, the trials? So with the treatments I just mentioned, it's been two years, so 2023 and 2024, but ISA has historically done seeding rate trials as far back as 2009, so quite a while. What would farmers find most interesting about the trials to date? I would say early planted beans are performing better. So what we found is April 15th, April 22nd, we're typically really maximizing yield. As we delay planting, we're seeing decreased yield. So nothing wrong with delayed planting if it's because of the weather or anything that's uncontrollable. But like I said, the April 15th, April 22nd timeframe is really helping maximize yield. I'd say that's number one, planting date. Number two, I would say there's some management practices like row spacing, cover crop, no cover crop that can be caveats to what I'm saying, but that'll vary operation to operation. But then economically with margins being what they are, sale price is a little low, seed cost is high, inputs are high. What ISA is finding economically is that 80 or 110,000 seeds per acre are economically better. What are most farmers planting at right now? What's the population range? 120 to 160 or higher? Uh, I'd say 120 to 160 is probably what I hear a lot of it. Like I said, I think it depends a lot on cover crop, row spacing. Right. Um, is it a replant? Is it not a replant? Uh, later planting. Sometimes people think that they have a later planting, so they really need to up the rates, or they think higher rate equals higher yield. And what we've been finding is that there's only been a two bushel difference across our treatments. So the 80,000 treatment has been yielding less across our locations the past couple years, but it's only one or two bushel difference across the treatments, which is pretty negligible in the green scheme of things. The people that we've been interacting with the past couple years, I would say ROI is probably their end goal. Farm is a business, we gotta treat it as such, and seed cost is something that really never goes away. Well, we're coming up on planting season, and for farmers, Michaela, who would want to reach out and participate with Iowa Soybean Association in a trial, how can they do that? Yeah, so we are recruiting locations statewide. You can go to our website, iasoybeans.com, click on the research tab. If you want to look at previous research publications, click the publications tab. If you want to reach out to your research agronomist, you should be able to do that under that research tab as well. And I think there's also a handy dandy search function on the website too. I'm sure if they search for planting population yeah. seed trials, they can find it there as well. So again, some research that the Iowa Soybean Association hasn't been involved in, and Michaela and her role as a research agronomist to really help farmers drive that ROI. As we say at Iowa Soybean Association, we're driven to deliver. For this edition of The State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putsey. You know, everything starts with the land. We really respect farmers. There's nothing that we cannot help a client with. So the brokerage, the management, the appraisal, and the investment are four pillars that really go so well together. We work with a lot of really great people. 
working incredibly hard to provide for their families, their community, and the country. 